Hey, this is Nathan with Analog Reviews, and today we're having a look at XCOM Enemy Unknown. The game is a remake of the 1994 classic XCOM UFO Defense, and is developed by Firaxis Games, a studio known for Sid Meier's Civilization series. Set in the year 2015, where a sudden alien invasion catches the population of Earth completely off guard. Every country must unite to repel this new threat, and the XCOM project is established as a result. XCOM is the best of the best, featuring the most skilled soldiers as well as the most brilliant scientists and engineers the world has to offer. You assume the role of the commander of XCOM, and it's your job to lead the soldiers and guide the scientists in their research. You start the game by building an underground base on your choice of one of five continents. Each continent offers a various perk once it's fully defended, either offering a larger monthly allowance or bonuses to science and engineering. Your base can be expanded and upgraded throughout the game, allowing you to build more facilities to equip your troops or provide various other benefits. Each of the countries featured in the game will make specific requests, either asking for certain equipment or they can fall under attack and will need help. As commander of the XCOM project, you'll be forced to make difficult decisions. For instance, you'll only be able to help one country at a given time, leaving the other countries vulnerable. The more you let a country down, the more panic spreads. If panic spreads entirely over a country, they will withdraw from the XCOM project, pulling their support and funding. It can be difficult at times to keep every country satisfied, and that adds to the challenge of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Upon deploying on a mission, you're given the option to outfit your squad with various loadouts. Each of the squad members can rank up, allowing you to unlock new abilities and upgrades. You're also able to customize the way soldiers look, and even rename them to resemble people you know. You can invent new weapons, armor, and equipment with the help of your scientists. You can craft things like plasma rifles, grenades, medikits, and even jetpacks. The soldiers are divided into four classes that each play an essential role. There's snipers, which are designed to take down enemies from afar, as well as assault classes that run in close with a shotgun. The support class is also useful as it excels at healing your troops, while heavy weapons experts provide suppressing fire and excel with explosives. The customization, while being a welcome feature, isn't quite as in-depth as other games in the genre. You do have the option of different cosmetic armor variations, but that comes in the form of paid DLC. The game features numerous destructible environments. You almost always want your soldiers to take cover, as they can die very quickly if they're left out in the open. The environments can be destroyed by stray shots and explosives, thus changing the battlefield as well as the areas that provide cover. The environments and stages vary, but unfortunately they all look a bit similar, regardless of where in the world the battle takes place. You'll generally be fighting in one of three locations, a city, an open field, or an alien spacecraft. The mission objectives vary from rescue missions to bomb disposal although the majority of missions will simply have you defeating a certain amount of alien enemies. Similar to other tactical games, XCOM is unforgiving. When your soldiers die, they're permanently dead, and they'll only make an appearance on the memorial wall. This adds a level of risk and excitement to the game. Sometimes you'll be left pondering whether or not it's worth it to press on or opt for a quick retreat instead. Enemy Unknown is a game you can potentially lose. If you make the wrong decisions, countries will withdraw from the XCOM project and will ultimately be destroyed. There's no way to save these countries aside from starting a new game. It's entirely reasonable that you could play through the game 10 or 15 hours only to come to the realization that you're going to fail. That said, I enjoy the feature, as many of the games released this generation are far too easy and are designed to be completed by anyone with a pulse. If you're like me and you're experienced in other tactical games, you want to play the game on the classic difficulty setting initially. This normal will most likely feel a little too easy. It's worth mentioning that the game also features an impossible difficulty, along with an Iron Man preference that prevents saving the game. Once you complete the game, you'll also unlock a second wave feature that makes the game even more difficult, adding various mods that will make the aliens you face all the more deadly. The aliens in XCOM are varied and unique. They each feature different abilities and AI, causing them to react differently. Some aliens might behave cautiously, while others will be quite a bit more aggressive. You'll have to learn about each of the aliens you face and incorporate varied strategies depending on your opponent. The soundtrack is great, being reminiscent of games like Deus Ex and Mass Effect. 
Unfortunately, the selection of tracks is quite limited, and the music might feel a bit repetitive when it's spread across the game's 20-hour campaign. The graphics in XCOM aren't spectacular by any means, and some of the animations and voice acting can feel a little goofy at times. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. The game does have quite a few bugs that can be frustrating, from minor clipping issues to having aliens randomly appear on top of your forces. The fog of war effect leaves it up to mystery in terms of where your enemies are located, but the game is coded to have aliens randomly spawn in the fog. This unfortunately allows for them to appear in locations where they would have no logical means of reaching, such as appearing right next to your troops in a blind spot, or sometimes clipping through a wall. I also experienced quite a few freezes and crashes on the PC version of the game, resulting in a couple hours of lost game time. A lot of these bugs have been in the game for a while and have yet to be patched, unfortunately. The multiplayer, while fun, does feel a bit tacked on, featuring only a 1 vs 1 mode. This mode lets you play as the aliens, which is an interesting addition, but... What the fuck? I literally clicked for my guy to go, like, away from you. This allows for unbalanced insane. combinations. Unfortunately, it can be difficult to find a game, and the lack of a co-op mode along with larger scale battles will dissuade most players from spending a lot of time in the multiplayer. I didn't even care about the multiplayer at all. No! no. XCOM no. is primarily meant to be enjoyed as a single player game. Overall, XCOM Enemy Unknown is a great game. Time seems to fly by while you're playing it does have quite a few bugs and glitches, but that shouldn't deter anyone from buying it. You can easily spend 30 hours on a playthrough, unlocking the various technological advances and upgrades while still feeling motivated enough to play it a second time. Although the game could have benefited from having more in-depth customization, like Final Fantasy Tactics and Tactics Ogre, XCOM is still fun and addictive regardless. I'm happy to see Firaxis has revived an old classic, and I'm looking forward to what else they have planned as they have already announced that they are working on a sequel. In an age of mindlessly easy games, you should check out XCOM for a fun, refreshing challenge.